What's going on, leather fans? All right, so yesterday I posted a Coles, or Colson Keen, uh, Colonel Littleton video highlighting these uh, brass ID tags and also the journal that's in here. Uh, I had some technical difficulties with the video, so I'm reshooting it. So if you, I think there were only like five of you that saw it yesterday. So um, if you're a subscriber, you uh, didn't miss anything. I'm going to redo it. So anyway, um, yeah, I got all this pretty saddleback stuff everywhere. And as you guys know, earlier last week, or late last week, I added the, what is this, Colonel Littleton number 43 mailbag briefcase to the collection. And, of course, I already had the number 83 book bag. Kind of on a Colonel Littleton kick, so to speak. Um... I've had I've had this one for two years, maybe a little bit longer. Got this one a week ago Friday. Um, I'm kind of liking this stuff to the point where I may I may sell some of the saddleback items to fund per, um, additional purchases of Colonel Littleton. Is it because Colonel Littleton is better? No, it's it's not better. It's different. Um, and actually, I mentioned in my uh, original video. I'm going to do a, a comparison between Saddleback and Colonel Littleton. It's not really a comparison, it's just they both do the same thing. Uh, the goal is to wrap your stuff in leather. They just go about it in two totally, totally different ways. Um, Saddleback, can't say enough good things about that. You guys know my collection, it's pretty extensive. And at some point the Colonel Littleton um, collection is going to grow and become extensive as well. But anyway... Um, so we've got these brass uh, luggage tags here, and you can get your info engraved on them, which mine is engraved, of course, on the other side. Um, they come in a set of three. They are brass, so the tag is brass, the dog leash clasp is brass, and the key ring is brass. And it comes just like that, like a set, or in a set. And it comes, of course, in a cool box, like all Colonel Littleton stuff does. And they are all individually wrapped. It's a really good value, too. They only come in a set of three. And, like I said, they're really, really good value. And in here, open this up. We have the Colonel Littleton number nine journal. Of course, it comes in a duster. I can get this out. All right, so there it is. So the Colonel Littleton number nine journal is a very, uh, very simple, very elegant piece. As you can see, it's just one, whoops, one piece of leather with another piece uh, sewn onto it. Uh, makes the strap. Does come with a number two Colonel Littleton pencil, which is kind of cool. Don't really use pencils, but. I've got one now, and this is the front page, it's kind of cool, you know, you put your name right there, nomenclature, and it's got some little verbiage here from the colonel, which is kind of cool, and this one has the ruled paper, as you can see, it's ruled on the right side, but not the left side, which is fine with me, because I only write on this side anyway, even if it did have, uh, even if this side was ruled. Um, that may annoy some people if you're left-handed just take it out and flip it over and one thing about the uh, The the way this goes in it's very old-school so you can see it's actually tied in literally tied in and I don't know if this spacing is proprietary to Colonel Littleton or if you can go to Office Max or Office Depot and find something that would fit in here Either way, I'm uh, whenever I get a refill. I'm definitely gonna get it from the Colonel which is, these are really, really neat, the way they uh, constructed this. And I've posted this on Facebook um, and the Colonel Littleton fan page, and someone commented that they were worried that once you get a little further down into the uh, the page, or into the, uh, into the section, like about right there, that it won't lay flat. And that person is right. Now, these first few pages, I think you can probably kind of flatten out and they'll lay flat. But I think as you get a little bit further down, I'm probably going to have to have my hand here while I write over on this side. It might be kind of a pain, but that's okay. This thing is so cool. So I am a 
a writer of sorts. I write prose and short stories and uh, music and songs and lyrics. So there's going to be some uh, some masterpieces in this thing at some point. Probably pretty soon. As you can see, I haven't even started the, the first page, but that'll probably change sometime today. So this is going to be my companion for uh, for the rest of my life, I guess. And the only thing that's going to change are the inserts, and I can't wait to see what kind of cool patina it gets. Probably very similar to this. And this is the uh, dry milled leather, same as the uh, the book bag. Very soft, very pliable, extremely fragrant, just like all the other um, Colonel Littleton stuff. And one thing that I mentioned in the um, in the original video that I'll mention here. Think about this. When is the last time you bought something? That is going to outlast you. When you're dead and gone, this thing is still going to be around. When's the last time you bought something like that? Well, if if you're a leather fan like me, you can say, "Oh, well, you know, I bought this and that, and you know, just the other day." That's true, but very few times in life do you buy something that's going to last you the rest of your life and beyond, where somebody in your family, your friend, coworker will inherit something like this. So that's pretty cool when you think about it. And the saddleback and Colonel Littleton stuff, it all of it will definitely last more than one lifetime. And like I said, I'm going to do a comparison. Not really comparison, but just kind of highlighting the different kind of leather and the different uh, construction and the engineering and whatnot that goes into each bag. And I'll kind of do a side-by-side. -side. And then a new series that I'm going to start here on the channel is, uh, I call it 5 and 5. So what I'm going to do is... Like, for instance, I'll take that medium water bag and I will um, come up with a list. Five things I like about it, five things I don't like about it. That's why I'm calling it five and five. So you will see, you know, medium water bag, five and five. thought that was kind of kind of cool play on words. Um, but anyway, that's the journal. I'm very excited about it. Colonel Littleton number nine journal. Can't wait to start filling these pages with some masterpieces. Uh, who knows, one day I may actually get published. Doubt it, but you never know. I write because I have to, not because I want to. It's kind of a different story. Um, but if you're interested in this kind of journal, wow, it's uh, it's really, really, really nice. Um, this is something that the writer in your family uh, or in your life would definitely enjoy. And I just, I just can't wait to see what kind of adventures... Uh, it accompanies me on and uh, what kind of stuff I can write in there and you can get your initials on on here I think they put it right there and I was going to do that you know I was going to get my my EJR but I noticed on the colonel's website the picture where they have this open and they have the initials right here it 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 uh, protrudes through to the other side and it looks kind of it just doesn't look good and that's why I didn't get my initials on here. I guess they hot stamp it. Um, I think that's the correct uh, procedure that they use to put your initials on here. Uh, if I'm if that's not correct, let me know uh, in the comments. Uh, but that's why I didn't get that. Oh, and it's got the uh, the brass stud, and that's going to be the uh, the closure. So pretty excited about that. So stay tuned, guys, for the five and five videos. Uh, five things I like, five things I don't like. Stay tuned for the comparison of. Colonel Littleton and Saddleback and oh, as always I take do take video requests so if you guys uh, have anything you want to see side by side or want to know more of or more in depth or just want to see a close-up let me know I'll be happy to accommodate uh, any reasonable uh, video request and so that's the number nine added to the Colonel Littleton collection thanks for watching